if you have muscle twitching, if you're having fasciculations, and you don't have weakness, it's benign. As crazy as it is, as fucked up as it is, as annoying as it is, it's benign. I went through this shit for three years, and I still have fasciculations. But for three, I thought I was dying. I was going, I was caught, my doctor knows I'm a hypochondriac. So I was going, and I kept going until she sent me to a neurologist. Seeing a neurologist, he told me that was fine. That wasn't good enough. I had to go see a neuromuscular specialist. At one of the leading hospitals in the world. That wasn't good enough. I want it, an EMG. I want all that shit. Because there's something fucking wrong with me. Yeah, there, there was something wrong with me. And it wasn't ALS. It was my own self. Anxiety and stress can wreak havoc on your body. Just like it makes you feel like you can't swallow or breathe. You are fucking your central nervous system up. That's why you're twitching and having fasciculations. This isn't me reading a book. This isn't me nothing. This is me telling me to you. Because when I was going through this shit, three years I went through this. Three fucking years. For, for two years, you couldn't tell me anything. Because I fucking believed I had ALS. I could have everybody tell me I didn't. Neuromuscular specialists, neurologists, doctors, fucking everything. But I was my own worst enemy the whole time. Do I know what triggered it? Exactly? No, I don't. But there's a very general consensus that people with anxiety get it and stress. And it actually makes a lot of sense. And at the time, I was coming off of benzo, too. So if you have fasciculations that you've been told are benign, or you go to a doctor and they say there's, no, there's nothing going on majorly, take it and fucking run for the hills with it. Don't get caught up for years like I did. It was a fucking waste of fucking time. I fucking read 8 billion stories online. I honestly could go toe for toe. I could go toe to toe with a neuromuscular specialist on terms because I studied it so much. And I had a and I had an appointment to go back to see the neuromuscular specialist. Not because he wanted to see me, but because I was so adamant and I was going to every doctor's as much as I could going. I'm going to the emergency room. I'm almost to the point where I'm, I, I can't fucking breathe. I'm slurring. I can't eat. I'm choking. I'm tripping over myself. Finally, at the point in three years, I was seeing a, a cognitive behavioral therapist. And she says, you cannot go to that appointment. You have got to stop this. You are going to keep chasing it and chasing it and chasing it. Some things don't have an answer. Actually, a lot of things don't have an, an answer. So if you're having fasciculations, like I said, you can go get it checked out. If there's no weakness, if there's no not, nothing, it's, it's, it's a, physiologically it happens to a lot of people, actually. They just don't harbor the thought and go into full-blown panic mode. Like people of my mental status. You can literally manifest anything as far as symptom-wise. If I look at enough movies of people choking, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to start choking. My father had stage 4 head and neck cancer. He was choking all the time. I'd watch him try to eat. Then I'd start fucking choking. 
then he got a crazy neurological condi condition. He had to go to Duke and get Ian. He lost, he lost function in his hands. He couldn't pick stuff up. He was having fasciculations. He had weakness, fasciculations. His vocal cords were paralyzed. He had pains. And guess what? That was... He just has a peripheral neuropathy from chemo and radiation. Crippling. A nightmare to watch and go through. I have to feed him every day through a peg tube. So trust me when I tell you, if there's something wrong, there's something wrong. Fasciculations don't fucking mean a thing in the spectrum of things. So get the fuck off the internet. Stop asking people what they think. Stop mind fucking yourself. You are going to destroy yourself. It's okay to ask for help. But ask for help in the right way. You don't need a neuromuscular specialist to tell you 5,000 times you're fine. I know it sucks. Trust me. I fucking know. I got arrested in, a, in an emergency room because they wouldn't check me in the neurology department. I'm telling you, I was in and out. Every I go to all different hospitals. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I'm having fasciculations. I, I'm having weakness. I manifested all that shit. Once I googled it and, and read what came up, bang. Then all over started twitching. And my feet and my calves still have fasciculations to this day. But they're much less because I don't pay it mind. Get out of your own head. It's not a healthy place to be.